Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. Thank you so very much for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. And once again, this is not about Tero. This is about astrology. Today, I want to talk with you, my dear friends, about Neptune. On June 18th, 2018, Neptune will start with retrograde motion. And it will stay in retrograde motion until 24th of October. So guys, we have like almost five months to, to discover something very important in our lives. So what this might be? Please be very, very patient with this type of video. And people think that Neptune is not important because people tend to say Neptune, Pluto and Uranus, they are only generational, you know, planets. They are not that important. But today I have opportunity to assure you that on one very special level, Neptune is very important. So I will talk about all 12 zodiac signs and how this energy of retrograde Neptune might occur in your life. Guys, listen. First of all, what is Neptune? What type of impact planet Neptune have in your life? Neptune shows in a natal chart when you have unconscious need of your soul to be close with basically with the God. But on material level, when we have a dream as a humans, we tend to think, oh, I want this man, or oh, I want this woman, or Oh, I want this job, or I want this car, or I want this, uh, you know, expensive, luxurious, uh, you know, traveling, or, you know, whatever. Humans, generally speaking, we are having uh, every single day like a new desire. But the real thing, what is hiding beneath this desire, is basically deep connection with a God. So Neptune will show you when basically unconsciously you really want to be connected with the God, with the resource, you know, humans, all of us, or vast majority of people, we all think that we are completely cut off from the God. But my dear friend, God is inside of you. But you simply forget about to think on such a way. God is already inside of you. You can talk with a God inside of you. Through your guardian angel, through your heart, through your inspiration, through your intuition, through your vision. So all you need to do to get in touch with those things that I just mentioned. When Neptune is in a normal motion, you don't tend to think about God. But when something goes wrong, you know, then we'll start, you know, we all start, you know, praying to a God. God, please, you know, forgive me or please give me what I need. And then I will never do such a thing again. Maybe this sounds familiar to you, right? Right. Well, I think so. So, guys, this is not... A joke. Neptune ret in the retrograde motion. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars and Pluto. What the heck is this? Do you also have a feeling that everything is, uh, you know, that the God basically already pressed pause button. So everything is sleeping. Everything is, you know, not being awakened. The whole white cosmos is waiting for a miracle to happen. Do you have a clue what this might be? Do you? Put your comments on my channel.
this very second. What you think? What the whole white universe is waiting? Humans need to discover something. One thing. Compassion and forgiveness. And when I said that, this is so very easy for me to pronounce. But this is the hardest, the toughest thing for humans to follow every day in your life. It is so easy to get angry at someone, including you, my dear friend, but to be compassionate to other people, including towards you, my friend. This is so very hard to do. Now, Neptune being in retrograde motion, this is your chance to forgive something to you or to forgive in very compassionate type of level to someone else. Now, where and why and to whom there is something in your life that you need to be very compassionate about, that you need to forgive, you know, something to someone. And sometimes this is you. Maybe there is sense of guilt, which is like a big burden on your heart. Now, in the next couple of months, you have opportunity to be compassionate and to forgive. The doors are opened. Whenever any planet is in a retrograde motion, it means the doors to the meaning of planet, each planet, the doors are opened. So with the Neptune, this is what is happening. You will be inspired to talk and to express through words your grace. This is about being, you know, uh, gracious toward other people. And even now you can give to other people so much more, even more than people will ask you to do. Okay, one thing more with Neptune. Don't lie to yourself. See reality as it is. And including people which now might come from your past. Intuition will be awakened uh, on very, very high level. This is like a um, short introduction. And now I will talk, uh, I will add a couple of uh, sentences to every single zodiac sign. How you can meet uh, and what basically might happen in your life through all 12 zodiac signs. So guys, uh, don't be lazy. Uh, you can listen, uh, you know, uh, for yourself, maybe for your partner, maybe for your children, maybe for some person who is very important to you, because I really think this Neptune now in a retrograde motion for almost five months is extremely important to all of us. Let me just remind you once again, try to understand, maybe someone hurt you uh, without, uh, you know, um, a real attention. So now this person most likely is coming back to you asking for forgiveness. Guys, you need to open your eyes and not your eyes, but your heart and you need to let it go. If you do not want to do such a thing, most likely uh, this energy will go to your next life. So I'm not kidding. This is serious. Okay, so my dear Erisys, uh, Neptune will occur in your 12th house. Now, uh, Cosmos is giving you opportunity to see in a very objective way your past. I can see some erises because most likely you are very deeply, deeply hurt. You might feel, you know, self-pitying for yourself. But then most likely you will understand something about, you know, the other person who most likely hurts you. And finally, when you, when you allow this Neptunian energy to enter into your heart, then you will understand, you know, okay, maybe whatever happened, like maybe even many years ago, maybe this was not intentionally, never mind, find strength inside of you, because you are Eris Zodiac and you're very, you know, powerful, you can do that, forgive what someone 
do to you. But above all, you also can do that because of yourself in a selfish way, simply because you need to get rid of this pain inside of you, which obviously still exists. Simply let it go and let God take care of revenge if God think that he wants to make such a thing to this enemy of yours. Okay, Taurus. Neptune in a sign of Pisces in retrograde motion in your 11th house. Now, maybe uh, you like to be needed, but be careful what type of people, maybe very clingy one, now you can attract. Also, uh, you know, I can see this altruistic urge from inside of you is awakening, which is always good. Uh, you will try maybe, maybe not all of you, but maybe big amount of you. Now you can start with some very impractical type of plans and uh, simply now think, you know, with, with what type of people basically now you will be, uh, you know, tangled with. Standards of yours uh, towards society is very high now. So altruistic something, something altruistic, some type of inspiration now is awakening inside of you. And one thing more, I can see you fighting against the lie. You cannot stand people who are lying to you. Okay, Gemini's. Neptune in retrograde motion will happen in your 10th house. This is extremely good for art inspiration of any kind. You see, this is like positive thing. But also, um, when this Neptune... Um, start with this retrograde motion, maybe someone will accuse you of doing something which most likely you are not guilty of. This might happen with this, you know, trans transit. So, what you can do now? Where to go? Who will help you? You know, who will help you out? Maybe there is a weakness inside of your company. Maybe you will discover something wrong, which is obviously going on inside of your company and nobody's talking about that. This is like public secret. Everybody knows, but nobody is willing to discuss, discuss about that. Maybe now this is you rising your voice saying, no, this is not righteous, you know, and then, uh, you know, this is you fighting. This is you fighting maybe even for the cause. Now, if you want to be successful, uh, try to have this attitude that you basically don't care that much about your success. This is how success now can come to you. Cancers. Ninth house. Okay. You will discover higher purpose of life and ain't gonna be easy because you will discover something and this something is going to be so subtle, subtle you know. You can't talk with other people. What you just discovered, you know, this is something that you can talk only basically with you. So this is like very, very tender, very, very subtle type of energy, uh, like a switching inside of you and you are changing from inside. Uh, you know, something will happen in the next uh, five months and you will find maybe completely new life purpose of your life. And you might even withdraw yourself from the people now, maybe people will ask you, what is happening with you? I can't recognize you anymore. You are different, you know. Maybe this is you starting, you know, playing piano, uh, starting, you know, painting, uh, you know, showing capabilities for, I don't know. Maybe this is something which you brought completely unconsciously from your past, previous life. And now this type of energy will start, you know, arousing. Beautiful. Leo. Eight house, Neptune in retrograde motion. Okay, Leos, uh, this position is quite very, very uh, good and lovely. Now you can see very easy what other people need and want from you. This is like attitude at your service, madam, or whatever. Basically, at your service. Now you will do anything to please your partner and, you know, this also includes sex. So, obviously, this is very good for attracting sexual partners. But I beg of you, don't 
exaggerate. You really do not need to be at the ser at the service to all humanity, you know, out there. So be choosy, you know, be picky. You can be, uh, you know, uh, this way at your service, but to your partner, you know, to, <laughs> you know, not to, I don't know how many people. Also, maybe psychic medium, um, 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 what is the word, capability, uh, now will start awakening. Maybe even you will become psychic medium, who knows. Um, also, also, now it's so much easier for you to see what you need, what are your needs, you know. So this energy most likely will work on a both ways, what, on a both ways, what other people want from you and what you as a human, what you need from other people. Now it's going to be so much easier to express what are your needs. Virgos, seventh house. Okay, <laughs> why I'm laughing? I will explain. Now, with Neptune in retrograde motion in your 7th house, Virgos, my dear friends, this is you almost, you know, shouting, maybe not out loud, but everything is shouting inside of you. I need nobody! Leave me alone! Escapism, in one word. And trying to escape even from your partner. Why? Because this is you saying he does not understand me he does not love me but do you understand your partner do you still love your partner honey be honest do you even believe in you or maybe you know you think that a human normal conversation is not needed anymore what you think other people can read your minds well some of them can but maybe your partner maybe he can't do such a thing. So, you need to understand, of course I'm kidding a little bit, what you need to understand, that other people, including your partner, we all have some problems, Virgos, we are not perfect. We are not perfect, you know. So, don't you think that you need to be perfect? Honey, nobody's perfect. Nobody, including, you know, me. So, show compassion towards your partner and all you know, people in your office, in your family, and even on the street, people are confused. We all are confused. So, if you can do such a thing, trying to understand and to be compassionate, first of all to your partner, uh, you can clean your karma when it comes to giving and receiving. This is what it is. Libra, sixth house of your Everyday job, taking care for your body, you know, analyzing and whatnot. Okay, Libras, there is um, an expression, title, name for this Neptune in the retrograde motion in 6th house. Angel of Mercy. This is exactly what it is. And I don't know, maybe even you have in your 6th house, in your natal chart, Neptune. So honey, you know... Everybody, and most likely people said that to you, oh, you are like an angel, angel of mercy. So, this is aspect, typical one, of serving humanity. This is big compassion, doing all you can for, you know, for the cause. And the cause is humanity. Give back, you know, as much as you can can but try to be a servant but please don't be a slave there is a difference to it be a servant okay but not to be a slave don't do that also by this type of attitude now you can release uh, you can get rid of a big karmical debt of some kind next scorpio Fifth house with Neptune in retrograde motion. Okay. Fifth house, generally speaking, this is about creativity, your dream, and love, you know, and even famous. Okay, so what this Neptune means? Any type of creative endeavor 
always start with a big dream. So you will have a dream. All you need to do is to follow your dream. Oh, not so fast, Scorpios, not so fast. <laughs> Wait a second. I will describe for you what this means. You need to be diligent, very, very diligent, if you want to be successful. You will. But listen to me, my friend. When you talk with a real geniuses and a real, you know, famous, worldly, worldwide, you know, known artist, all of them have the same story about success. Success is about 10% of talent and 90% of diligent work. So, Scorpius, can you do that? If you can, maybe, you know, who knows, you will become worldwide famous for something. There is a karmic lesson to it. Listen. First, you need to believe in you and only then you can achieve success. Don't be lazy. Next. Sag. Sagittarius. Neptune in retrograde motion in a fourth house. Okay, guys, this one could be really tricky because there is a karmic knot to be untangled, untangled with uh, um, someone from your family. Could be one person, could be a couple of people in your family. Because you do not see your place in the family. Kind of, you do not see where you really belong. This is what you might say to your father, to your mother, whatever. Nobody loves me. You always love my, my brother or my sister better than me. Nobody loves me. You love all those kids, but you never loved me. Never. I remember from my early childhood, you know, you gave everything to them and nothing to me. So, my dear friend, you need to go back to your family past, family karma, and you need to find out where, why, and when something goes wrong. Now, pay attention. You cannot accuse your parents no more. I mean, get real. Grow up. You are an older adult person now. You're not little boy or girl anymore. Guys, listen to me and pay attention. Maybe something happened in early childhood. But you also need to understand your mom and dad, they have a flaws. We all do. They try, you know, uh, to do their best. And that's it. Simply as it is. So, don't accuse your parents anymore. I could, you know, I could have done, you know, so more in my, in my life. In only, you know, I've, get, I've got your support. So, most likely, you did not get a support. But there is a reason to it. In the meantime, you work like a crazy only to prove to you and to your parents that you can do that. So there is a reason why this thing happened to you. Sagittarius, stop accusing your parents. This is ancient history. Capricorns, third house. Okay. We all need to talk, right? Right. And we have a gift of speech, right? Right. Okay, so this gift of speech, and especially when it comes to relationship with the opposite gender, gender, now could be very, very slow. Why? Well, because Neptune in retrograde motion in the third house. This is why. Self-esteem could be low now. This is you saying, do you even hear me what I'm saying to you? Why you don't want to listen to me? And this type of questions. You can repeat, you know, words over and over again. Maybe this one. Why you don't trust me? 
Why? To tell you the truth, there is a reason, and the reason is the fear of being misunderstood. So you rather choose to say nothing than to be accused of saying something wrong. This is exactly what it is. And maybe, my friend, you are here and now listening for your husband or maybe for your wife. This position, you know, having Neptune in the third house. And this, you know, can help you to understand what is going on with your Capricorn partner. How come he or she is extremely silent? Next, Aquarius. Second house. Okay. Second house, generally speaking, this is house of value, self-reliance, and your resources. How you can earn money and to support yourself. Ah, this is it. With Neptune for the past, for the next five months being in a retrograde motion, it's going to be very hard, very hard to see your value. Now you can be very generous toward other people, but not to you. Also, you can be very indecisive. Who is right and who is wrong? And even, can I ask for more? This is like Oliver uh, from Oliver Twist. You remember? Can I have more? What? I'm still hungry. So try not to be like Oliver Twist. You can ask honey from the universe. The universe is, you know, abundant. So you only what you need to do. You need to ask. You not to be like, don't be like Oliver Twist. Something could be hard to achieve. And if this is the case with you, simply honey, repeat. Ask again. And that's it. So many of you now, you can have a music talent. You also can be quite very, very soft with other people. Maybe even too soft. Sensitive, maybe even very naive. Honey, listen, you need to save your interest. Because other people can use you. Especially for your money. So protect your interest. And the final zodiac sign. Pisces, guys, Neptune in your first house. What that means? Okay, this is very easy for me to translate. Neptune in retrograde motion in your first house, honey. This is spiritual journey to, to, honey, to you. First house is about your identity. So maybe this is you asking yourself, which one is my identity? Also, this is aspect of loneliness. Because you don't see, you do not know your true you. You are like crazy all over the places, trying you know, to see who you are. Trying to understand who you are, what you need to do, where you need to be, and with whom. This is also aspect of self-pitying yourself. Because you think, other people have that. Why I can't have that? Honey, you can. Don't accuse other people. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Fight for what you want. You will learn, now pay attention, to see yourself in a completely different light. You will discover who you really want to be. Anyway, my dear Pisces friend, your soul is immortal in the next life. Anyway, you will be someone else. So enjoy in the process of discovering real you. And this is Neptune in Pisces in retrograde motion. You know, I put my soul to this video. I really did. Okay. So, 
You can come back to this video over and over again, especially when you are confused, when you do not know what is happening, you know. This video can give you a couple of answers. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends and book a private reading with me if you want. You will get astrology reading, tarot reading for the price of one. God bless you all from the bottom of my heart. Take care.